Now let's examine flashover and what the term really means. As the fire grows, you get a hot gas layer up top. Underneath where firefighters normally operate, the conditions are still tenable while operating in PPE with an SCBA. As the temperature inside the room is increasing, the contents are being preheated and begin to pyrolyze. When the temperature of the hot gas layer reaches 600 degrees Celsius or 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, the auto-ignition temperature of carbon monoxide, ignition occurs. At this point, we have what we commonly refer to as rollover. The ignition and burning in the hot gas layer radiates heat to everything else in the room, leading to almost simultaneous ignition of all the room's contents, providing there's a sufficient oxygen to feed it. We now have fire, floor to ceiling, with temperatures in excess of 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. Everything in the room is on fire. This is what we call flashover. Even a firefighter with full PPE has mere seconds to survive this environment. This test conducted by NIST demonstrates the flashover phenomenon and the conditions that lead to it. The furniture used in this experiment is older and the cushions are polyurethane backed instead of polyester. This will result in a relatively slower fire development. The fire is started on the back couch with a piece of newspaper. It burns clean for the first few seconds, and once the fire gets into the synthetics, we see fuel-rich combustion products pouring out and filling the hot gas layer. Notice the piece of crumpled newspaper on the floor in the center of the room. As we start to get rollover, the hot gas layer radiates heat to everything around it. The temperature of the room starts to increase. Notice the white vapor coming off the newspaper. It pyrolyzes and auto-ignites in a matter of seconds, just due to the radiation from the hot gas layer. This is a precursor to flashover. Notice the turbulent fire conditions until the entire room's transitions to flashover.